Americans held hostage, abandoned behind enemy lines. Day 24. Day 24 of the Biden administration. They still don't know how many Americans officially have been left behind, and there is zero plan to get them out. While these hostages were abandoned by Joe Biden, they have not been abandoned by their fellow Americans. Six charter planes from great Americans around the country, including retired special ops officers on the ground risking their lives and other private organizations, are now on the tarmac in an airport in northern Afghanistan. They're ready to take off carrying Americans and our allies to Qatar. According to various reports, these planes are now being blocked by the Taliban and others and have been blocked in some cases for six long days. And even the U.S. State Department is not helping. The Taliban is apparently demanding a ransom payment from the U.S. government. The State Department reportedly refusing to grant a approval for private evacuation flights to land in other countries. That is insane. Not only is the Biden State Department doing nothing to rescue our fellow Americans that they abandoned, now they are reportedly obstructing private rescue missions by a lot of retired ops guys, special ops forces that are willing to put their own lives at risk to help the Americans that he abandoned. The Americans who were supposed to board these planes, they showed up at the airport, they forked over their papers to the Taliban, and once again tonight they are in hiding now more vulnerable than ever. One unnamed person involved with this, the extraction efforts telling Fox News, quote, if one life is lost as a result of this, the blood is on the White House's hands, their blood is on their hands. Adding, quote, it is not the Taliban that is holding this up as much as, much as it sickens me to say, it is the U.S. government. This is so bad, even Democratic Senator, huge liberal, Richard Blumenthal, Connecticut, is blasting the administration over their inc incompetence. Uh, are you okay with this, Ron Klain, Tony Blinken, Joe Biden, if you're awake, Susan Rice? Is this, uh, is this one of the contingencies that you plan for also, or do you just not care that you abandoned Americans and left them pretty much for dead to fend for themselves? That's right, under terrorist rule. Thankfully, tonight, we have some good news to report out of Afghanistan. There is an American mother from Texas, her three children. They were rescued by a man named Corey Mills. He will join us on this program in a moment. And his private team of other military vets in a successful cross-border operation. But now, despite having no involvement in the rescue mission, guess what? The Biden administration, they attempted to take credit for something they had nothing to do with. According to the State Department, the United States has facilitated the safe departure of four U.S. citizens by overland route from Afghanistan. Now, the organizer of this rescue mission is calling that statement a complete and total lie. The U.S. government did nothing to rescue these Americans, absolutely nothing. And, of course, Joe Biden doesn't seem to care about any of this because today, after a long weekend of getting as much needed west and relaxation in Delaware, well, Biden toured flood damage in New York and New Jersey. At every stop, he was met by protesters carrying anti-Biden signs, waving Trump flags and demanding accountability over Afghanistan and more. But according to Joe Biden, no, everybody he thought was happy to see him. The few people that were there. Take a look. None of them were shouting or complaining. Mm -hmm. Every one of them were thanking me as if it was something special. I mean it sincerely that I was here. This guy before this <laughs> leave them in ruins and leave Americans behind. <laughs> leave <laughs> Americans behind. <laughs> he would leave you behind. You guys, protect him. That's leave crazy. you guys behind. That's crazy. Now, finally, Biden had to mention the protesters, but he accused them of being ignorant. Of course, Biden made no mention at all of Afghanistan, nothing about the Americans he abandoned, nothing about those being held hostage behind enemy lines in northern Afghanistan, nothing at all, nothing about the billions in equipment he left behind. Instead, he focused on a much 
more pressing and urgent situation, climate change. Only problem for Joe is he's either too stupid or, frankly, too impaired to speak coherently. And we've got the videotape evidence. And, of course, we'll let you decide. The group I have standing with me, led by Chuck Schumer and your Congresswoman, is this your district? Grace Men. Oh, it's Grace's oh, no, district. No, end, end, have zero emissions, net emissions by 2050. By 2020, make sure all our electricity is zero emissions. This summer alone, communities with over 100 million Americans, 100 American Americans call home, have been struck by extreme weather. Each dollar we invest, every dollar we raise, a city block by two feet, floodproof power stations, sanitations. Remember, every single day Donald Trump was president, the left, the media mob, they pretended to be, you know, feigning so much outrage, embarrassed by a Donald Trump tweet. I'll take a mean tweet any day over abandoning Americans. Now, how humiliating, think as an American, as you see this all unfold, how humiliating, how embarrassing is all of this? You've got a repulsive, disgusting, and preventable disgrace, an unmitigated disaster, all preventable. We watched the Taliban on the march in the month of March, and in April, and in May, and in June, and in July, when we could have safely evacuated our own fellow Americans, all our allies, and all our military equipment that they now have in their possession. It is a disgrace. Our allies around the world, they are shocked, they are horrified. And America's enemies, they're gloating and they are completely emboldened. And it's not just the stammering and the confusion from a man clearly in severe cognitive decline. But also, this is important, we don't leave our fellow Americans behind. I can tell you this, well, Hannity knows Donald Trump, I do. Donald Trump would have obliterated the Taliban if they made one wrong move, just like he did Baghdadi and Associates and the Al Qaeda leader in Yemen and Soleimani and destroyed the entire caliphate in Iraq and Syria. Joe Biden did nothing as the Taliban was on the march and we knew it for months. Our intel community didn't fail. They warned him every single day. These documents will be revealed. We don't abandon Americans in hostile foreign countries run by radical Islamic extremists. We don't put the lives of our fellow Americans in their hands. That is not who we are supposed to be or who we are. This is not a partisan issue. This isn't about Democrat, Republican, conservative or liberal. If every American stuck by an enemy lines is a liberal that wants to get me fired, I want them home trying to get me fired. This is about saving our fellow Americans' lives. One example, a pregnant woman now in hiding. Why? She got kicked in the stomach by a Taliban fighter while attempting to reach the airport multiple times. And she says that Americans are being hunted all over the country. We have more anecdotal stories day in and day out. According to Congressman Darrell Issa, there are at least 500 Americans who are still trapped, including multiple students from Northern California. And if you add in their family members, guess what? It's over a thousand that need to be home right here on American soil. To make matters worse, get this. Four Gitmo detainees released by Biden and Obama in exchange for, remember Bo Bergdahl? Bergdahl? They're now senior Taliban positions. This is a nightmare, a hostage crisis on a massive scale that will likely continue. I don't even want to discuss my worst fears here. But think Mogadishu. Think about Daniel Pearl. You know where I'm headed. I pray to God that I am wrong. I pray that every one of these Americans now trapped behind enemy lines hostage gets home safely. But under this incompetent president, I frankly just fear the worst. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.